Hello everyone and welcome to this Klee wig tutorial. Since I bought my wig together with my costume from Doogie Doogie, the wig already arrives cut and styled, therefore this is not a tutorial from scratch, but I will still be cutting and styling the wig, just a tiny bit. I will also dye the tips of her hair, which I have never tried before, so in this video you will see how I dyed my clean wig. These are the things we will need in the first round. Some needles, a hair strainer that is set to 160 degrees celsius, scissors, a thinner scissor and a tail comb. We are first going to secure the wig with some needles. I centered the wig by measuring with my eyes and using the ear tabs as a guide. I then placed the needles at the ears, at the center, and in the back by the neck. I first comb the hair and then I separate the bangs from the side pieces. I then take my straightener to heat up the front side piece and then I use my fingers to shape it into a curl. Be careful not to burn yourself. And then I repeat it on the other side. Then I work on the bangs. I first heat it up to make it stay together. Then I cut the remaining hair off and I then cut it a tiny bit shorter, not too much because I prefer cutting the bangs while I wear the wig. I did not record it since I didn't cut the bangs until the day I cosplayed her, but I'm doing the same steps I'm showing you here as I did when I wore the wig. Right here it looks like I cut the bangs at an angle, but that is only to show you guys how I cut it. I am only cutting it shorter here. I then go over with my thinner scissors so the ends are a bit less chunky, to give them a more natural and feathered look. I go back with my scissors and I take some small sections and I cut them downward at an angle so the bangs will have more layers. I then take my straightener to heat up the bangs so I can make them stay together. And then I put them away to one side of the nose and that is basically because the nose is in the way and I don't want to get the bangs separated and mixed together with the side pieces. You can also just take a hair clip and clip it together, don't know why I didn't think of that at the time. I then go over the side pieces again, but this time I make a top and bottom section. I then heat up the top section and then I put my finger underneath to give it more volume. I go over the bangs again with my thinner scissor, but this time I cut downwards at an angle to give it more layers. I then take my got to be hairspray and then I will make a little antenna stay in place. I just spray the whole antenna with lots of hairspray and then I take a needle and secure the antenna where I want it to be. Then I let it dry. I also start setting the bangs and the front pieces. Since the two front pieces really want to lay close to the bangs, I place a needle on each side to help the front pieces stay away from the bangs and then I add some hairspray. If you have read the disclaimer you will know that some parts of the video are lacking and this is where it starts to lack. I take some hair clips to separate the front hair from the back hair for when we start dyeing it. And then I untie the pigtails and brush it out. I have some pink fragment dye lip from when I made my Victor costume back in 2016 and I also have some orange dye lip for my Prompto costume. I couldn't really decide which color to use so I got help from my followers on Instagram. Thank you guys, I really appreciate that you wanted to help me decide on a color, the pink color one. I have bought this dye from a local store and I can see on the bottle that it is made in Denmark and I don't think they sell it internationally but it is a textile spray if you are looking for something similar. To dye the wig we are going to use the textile spray, a spray bottle with water and then a comb. I think we are all familiar with how you can't trust a spray bottle. I did test spray before actually spraying it on the wig but this fucker just really wanted to have its way. Just look at the angle I'm holding it and the color went all the way up there. <sighs> Make sure to double check your spray bottle before spraying. Thankfully it was not noticeable at the end. 
I'm trying to stick to the ends and I work with small sections. I first spray the color on and then I go over with the spray bottle to thin out the color. Then you can take the comb to brush out the color. You can also brush the color upwards to kind of make an ombre effect. Since this was my first time dyeing a wig, I didn't really have any knowledge on how I should do it. But I think the best way to do it is to add water before the dye. The wig did absorb the dye pretty fast and I think you will stand a better chance if you add water before the dye. And then you can thin it out with more water until you are satisfied with the color. I know it does look really pink right now, but once it dries it looks amazing. Once I'm done with the bag, I do the same thing with the side pieces, but this time I'm holding a piece of paper underneath so I don't accidentally get color on other parts of the wig that is not supposed to be colored. I tried to save my little accident by drowning it in water and remove it with a paper towel. It did help a little, but I had hoped I could remove it completely. But as I said earlier, once I was done with the wig, you couldn't see it. Then I just do the other side as well, and if you will look at the dye one, you can already see how much it has dried and how soft the color has gotten. Now we're back inside again and the wig only took around an hour to dry but since the weather was so nice that day I just wanted to spend the rest of the day outside so I did not work on the wig until the next day. I would like to point out that the color does look a bit different on camera than it does in real life. You can also see how the color changed when I turned the wig away from the light. We have gotten to the last part of the video and that is to remake the pigtails. And since most of the back is gonna be covered by her hat I didn't care if you could see the whiffs. Since the wig had already been in pigtails, it was pretty easy to put it back in pigtails. I just made sure that the bottom of the hair was loose so the wig cap would sit nicely against my nape when I wear the wig. And this is how the wig turned out. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this tutorial useful. As always, if there's something you didn't understand or where you have no clue on what to do, then don't be shy and leave a comment, I will try to explain as best as I can. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see some of my other videos, feel free to visit my channel and if you like my content, don't feel shy to hit the subscribe button. If you want to see my cosplay pictures, links to my other social media accounts are in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, see you next time.